In this video I show you how to run a one-tailed test for a moderation or a mediation model with Hayes process macro, that is the model numbers 1 or 4. So maybe for model 4, for mediation, you have the hypothesis that you have a positive indirect effect or that you have a negative indirect effect. So you make an assumption about the direction of the effect. The same for moderation with process model 1. Maybe you have a hypothesis that, that you have a positive interaction term, that is, that the moderator amplifies the effect, or you have the hypothesis that you have a negative interaction term. In those cases, it's possible to use a one-tail test. That is, you only test one direction. The advantage is that you have higher power, so it's easier to get to a significant result. The disadvantage is that should the result be in the unexpected opposite direction, you can't say anything about whether it's significant or not. And it's important you have to decide which direction to test before looking at the data. So how can you do this in process? Let's start with the moderation, process model 1. Here are the key parts of the output. Here is the p-value. This by default is the p-value of a two-tailed test. If you want to report a one-tailed test, then you have to adjust that p-value. Let's assume that you predicted a positive interaction term, as it is in this case. Then you simply divide the p-value by 2. So the p-value you would report is this. If, however, the effect is in the unexpected direction, then you have to report 1 minus p divided by 2. So in this case, that would be the p-value. So before reporting the p-value, you have to look whether the, the effect is in the expected direction or in the opposite direction. For the f-statistic here, there is no one-tail test, because the f-statistic is not symmetrical. Now for the mediation, here it's a bit more complicated because for the key result, for the indirect effect, we don't have a p-value. For the p-values for the a-path or the b-path, you can do it the same way I showed you for the moderation. But for the indirect effect, that's not possible because without a p-value, you can't adjust the p-value. What we have to do here is we have to construct a confidence interval for a one-tail test. We can do that by requesting a 90% confidence interval from process instead of the default of a 95% confidence interval, and then using just one of the two limits. I show you how. If you want to change the confidence level for the confidence interval in process, you can do this here. Or if you use syntax, you can use the conf parameter. Now we get a confidence interval with a confidence level of 90%. So this confidence interval is a two-tailed confidence interval for 90%. But we can use this to construct a one-tailed confidence interval. If our expectation is that we have a positive indirect effect, then we take the lower limit of the 90% confidence interval, and the upper limit would be infinity. So this would be a 95% one-tailed confidence interval. If, however, our hypothesis had been that we have a negative indirect effect, then we would take the upper limit of the 90% confidence interval and put the lower limit to minus infinity. So positive effect, you take the lower limit to infinity, and negative expected effect, you take minus infinity to the upper limit. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.